Okay, so we have a 2007 E63 AMG wagon with the M156 motor. Um, so this car has had a lot of leaks, oil leaks, since I purchased it. So I'm finally getting in and hacking it. Um, one of the main leak points is the oil filter housing in here. And that's where the gasket goes. And this is the old gasket, and it's pretty stiff. Um, so it's probably the original to the car. These are also the uh, timing cover gaskets that I replaced as well that were leaking. So those leak as well. But there aren't any good videos on YouTube that describe how to remove that oil filter housing and replace the gasket. There are a lot for the E55 um, variant. Um, they're a little different. They have a big threaded um, nut that you have to take out from inside the oil filter housing to get out. But in order to get to this, you have to take a lot of stuff off. Um, so um, basically start here. Um, well, here the, the reservoir for the power steering, you can kind of remove that and set it aside to get access to it. Um, there are some vacuum hoses right here that you can easily pull off and move. Um, the return uh, coolant line from the thermostat and be very careful if you're working anywhere around this these if it's old these are brittle if you break this you have to buy the entire new thermostat you can't just break, break this part believe me I know I've done it before so you remove that um, you have to remove the upper radiator hose and you're gonna drain the coolant out so let that hang down and also, you, for me to, to get to it, you have to remove the, the tensioner for the serpentine belt. I had replaced this earlier in the spring uh, because it was worn and I should have done the job then. But if you remove, take off the belt and you don't need a special tool, you just need a, maybe a breaker bar with a, a 17 millimeter on the end for the tensioner and then you can remove the tension from the belt and then you can get access to the tensioner which is right here um, remove those two bolts you'll have to move the pulley out of in, in, in the um, different position to get it out but once you do that you can you can get access to these bolts I think there's one two three four five of them that hold this on to the motor so for a 6.2 liter V8, those are all the items that have to uh, come off to get access to that.